<laughs> oh, hardy hi DIY for our fans. Prescott <laughs> here, your old do-it-yourself chum. Well, this week, the wonderful world of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I... <laughs> as I was... You moved, you rascal. <laughs> what happens to know when we think of electricity? Well, in my case, it's the bill. <laughs> but seriously, don't think of electricity as the bogey man in the skirting board, or even the skirty man in the bogey board. <laughs> think of it as your hidden chum. So why not shake hands with Mr. Plug? <laughs> Take 20. Well, did you spot my deliberate mistake? <laughs> um, well, now it's time to tinker with Ronnie Razor here. Thing to remember about. The razor is the voltage. Is he 115 or is he like Mr. Reagan, 240? <laughs> little sparky humour there. Well, I've set this one for 240. Our old friend 250 volts again, I'm afraid. Well, I think it's time to take time out to answer some of your letters over here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> My current mail. <clears throat> this one's from Curly Shirley of Pearly. Curly asks, can I run my Sinclair C5 off the mains? <laughs> of course you can, but you'll need an extremely long piece of wire. <laughs> well, I've been deluged with mail about Tommy Toaster over here. Lots of you seem to have a problem with sticking toast. Well, here's one I reconditioned especially for the program, and you can watch the smooth operation here. <laughs> No problem, just a slip, slight mouth gun. Oh, oh. Slight malfunction of the rear stack transistor flange, or to give it its proper technical term, <coughs> a cock up. <laughs> Here's what I was talking about the sticking piece of toast. Now, come on, you silly toaster. <laughs> And in the words of the great Michael Faraday, ain't you got no house to go to? Bye for now.